Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All, educational videos channel. We are, we are continuing with learning Scratch, we are continuing with making Scratch tutorials. And in this video today, we are going to learn how and when to use Scratch block which is named Mouse X. Okay, I'm already in Scratch, so... Uh, the scratch block which we are going to use today is mouse X. It's one of the sensing blocks, the blue one. So click on the blue groups, blue group of scratch blocks and find the mouse X. And um, where we can use that one, just a second, for example. I don't think I will use it for my scratch CAD game, but yeah, maybe here. Um, I have uh, clicked on star 3, which is uh, the star which we collect in our game when the cat touches the cat, uh, when the cat touches the star, the star disappears and we get, gather 10 points and so on. So, I have clicked on first one of those stars, uh, which is named star 3 and I will code this new block, I will show this new block here. Okay, uh, no, maybe let's first, sorry, let's first go into the cat. Maybe it's better just to show it first with the scratch cat. I will detach this say round timer and I will attach this mouse X. This mouse X uh, uh, scratch block will uh, help us in game where you have to code something precisely or you have to code something which is dependent on your mouse position and on your mouse interaction. For example, you can use that in some uh, maybe shorter games or something like that. Not only them, but maybe also, um, I don't know, some kind of reaction games, uh, strategy games, yeah, well, when uh, combined with clicking and mouse Y position also when you uh, click and drag to make a selection window in uh, real-time strategy games and so on. But in short, let's see first what this uh, scratch block does. If I uh, I have uh, dragged this mouse X into say block, so we can see it interactively all the time in our on our stage, and the sc uh, scratch cat is now telling me wh uh, what is the exact amount of my uh, mouse X position, what is coordinate, what is the number, what is the value. So now it's 105 minus 105. If I go to the right, it will go lower. And you can see that also I have uh, entered this uh, uh, background, XY coordinate background, just so you can see clearly. So now if I go all the way to the left, you can see minus 240, which is also written on the background. And if I go to the right, it will grow. It will go from minus 240 closer to zero. You can see how it changes into the scratch, scratch cat uh, bubble. Okay, now here is exact zero for X. And if you... Uh, pay uh, attention you can see that if I move up and down uh, I don't get a uh, reaction for Y coordinate for example if I try to be very very precise I will only it, uh, scratch doesn't care about how far I go into the Y position up or down he scratch only uh, measures my X coordinate the X coordinate is from left to the right the orange one uh, or the red one, sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, so if I go from zero to the right, uh, zero here, if I go to the right now, it, uh, my X coordinate will grow and it will, a uh, scratch will tell me that in my uh, speech, speech bubble. And it will go up to, to the 240 and that's it white to the 240 only that that's because that's the limit of our stage 
240 on the right minus 240 on the left so you can uh, as we have just seen you can use this uh, to see where your x coordinate is maybe for some of you you can use it to learn about x uh, and y coordinate system and to be more precise or to be more sure how it works uh, but you can also use it in some uh, practical game examples we will just see that just in a second let me just detach this mouse x and put this round timer back okay okay so now i will go back to the star tree and let me see what i am going to try to do here okay so i want uh, for example to uh, program this star so she can turn around on the left if my cursor if my mouse pointer is on the left and uh, she will turn to the right if my mouse pointer is on the right okay so there I'll, I will not uh, write it down here but uh, I will explain while I'm uh, making this code here now on the stage. Okay, so we have uh, just seen that we need two conditions. First one, if the mouse position X is on my left and the second, if my mouse position X is on the right. So I will need two mouse X, one for the left and one for the right. Okay, I will also need if, this if else scratch block why because i have two conditions one if for the mouse left and second else for the mouse right simple as that now let me just see how can i define this if my mouse is on the left and if I ma my mouse is on the right i will need some kind of operator that's for sure because those operator bo blocks are um, used to uh, measure something to compare something if you have watched our previous lesson you know that so I need to compare if my mouse exposition is for example less than I will try with zero first why because here I have to go to the stage four sorry so to yeah stage six or level six or uh anyway i have to go to the background x and y just to show you what i'm trying to do here with my code here okay so i will try to uh program my star to behave like this like uh, if my scratch if for example if you can imagine scratch cat is now my cursor so if my uh, cursor is on the left turn to the left and I, when I say if you're on the left I mean less than zero you can see that zero is here here is zero where my cursor is so if I'm less than zero turn to the left and if I am greater than zero turn to the right so how to write it down in my scratch blocks this is one way to do it i think it is we will see that soon so if my mouse x is less than zero i want what i want my star to we said rotate to the left here rotate to the left and if my mouse x is yeah, I don't. E I don't even need the second uh, mouse X. I was uh, my mistake. I I was thinking of using two if statements like this. You can use uh, you can make it like this if and if and but I don't need that. I uh, sorry. I was thinking about something like this we can uh, save it here just in, in uh, case the first won't work but I think it will anyway let me find another motion block for turn around to the right so 
and uh, this is everything here I will first detach this and I will attach this and I need a thing forever block yes and I will read it once more don't worry just if you have lost your mind following me here if, if this was too fast but I think it isn't and it's pretty much the simple very simple example and you can uh, try it on your own and um, um, I think it will work and you can then try something on your own different okay just let me read this again so what do I want here to do I want my star to turn to the right to the left sorry if my mouse X is here less than zero in X position and if my mouse is something else that, that tells means on the right from the zero that means greater than zero because this condition is both for this one and for this one too else means everything else but this condition so if mouse X is less than zero I will turn around to the left and for everything else that means equal or greater than zero I will turn to the right when I say I I mean star okay let's see this in action if it works so now like, look at the star it turns to the left it turns to the right maybe it's too fast because 15 degrees is too much let me try with 5 degrees and look carefully so now when my mouse is here less than zero uh, you can see how this first star is rotating to the left only this star and now when I go to my right position when my uh, mouse X will be equal or greater than zero look how star changes its rotation simple as that now it rotates to the right now to the left now to the right now to the left and it's all dependent on my mouse X position scratch block which we have learned today so what we have done we have made this mouse X position interactive by putting it into this operator block just like this then co connect connecting that condition with rotation putting it in if else condition block then putting it in forever block and just like that we made some kind of um, fun interactive movement on the screen you don't have to use it for that you can use it for whatever you want uh, but uh, this was some simplest example which just came on my mind uh, now um, that's it for this lesson I hope it was fast and easy to follow and keep on watching this uh, these videos and this YouTube channel and keep on learning scratch keep on sharing your knowledge and everything you can with others bye for now